Some days it's hard to keep balance. This seems to be one of those days, and honestly, October seems to be one of those months. I am usually a cup half full kind of guy, rather than a cup half empty. I usually come from a place of optimism and, and live my life that way. Hope springs eternal. But boy, the malaise is coming more rapidly, and the, the, the darkness just comes up out of nowhere and knocks me off my feet for hours, if not a day at a time. And it's happened twice in the past seven days. And I mean, usually this happens to me once a month at the most. And usually it's not darkness. It's just I need a mental health break, you know. And I, I, know, I know what's feeding it. We have the change of seasons. We have well more than 200 days now without close physical contact with others. We have the enforced being at home. And while I love my home, I long to be able to go back to the office and uh, have hallway conversations with people. The, the introvert inside has been well-fed and is ready to burst. And it's time for, for some extrovert diet to, to happen as well. And then we have this, this, this obscene, malignant, cannot tell the truth, orange puff of a man-child in the White House. And Every, everything out of his mouth is a lie or a, or a falsehood or a half-truth. And the people he surrounded himself with and the enablers and what has happened to this country? How have we gotten to this place where we are so polarized? I mean, right now, I'm longing for, 19, for, for January 1993 when there was hope and the, the man from Hope, Arkansas, had just gone into the, to the Oval Office, and we didn't yet have Newt Gingrich's damn contract on America that he put out. Hell, right now, I would take George H.W. Bush. I actually liked him as a man and as a president. What a mess. Okay, here endeth the rant. <laughs>